how do you lay out YouTube channel art? Let's talk about that in today's video. Welcome to the Doug Houston YouTube channel. This is a channel where we help you with tech wherever possible. So why not subscribe if you want tech, software, tutorials, how to's and a whole lot more. Today, we're talking about YouTube channel art. How do you lay it out? Well, let's head on over to the computer and talk about it right now. Here we are now on the Mac. And the first thing we're gonna look at is the dimensions for the YouTube channel art. So let's go to the source first of all and pull up the actual YouTube help on create and edit channel art. And let's scroll down to where it tells us the image tips and guidelines. And we can see here, channel art looks different on desktop, mobile and TV displays. Larger images may be cropped. For the best results on all devices, we recommend uploading one 2560 by 1440 pixel image. So that's the resolution, that's the size we're aiming for. And uh, when we get into the uh, template that I've got uh, set up in GIMP, we will see what we're talking about. So if you want to refer to this actual page whilst you're doing your channel art, of course, the link is in the description below. And down here, you can also download the channel art template from YouTube directly. If you click on that link there, channel art templates, that will download a zip file that has uh, the uh, layout channel art options. But we're going to be looking at using those and looking at those in the GIMP tutorial. So let's head on over to GIMP and get started. Here we are in GIMP and as you can see I've already got the actual cha YouTube channel art template that we downloaded earlier from the YouTube helps area and it basically tells us the dimensions in various capacities. We're going to go through those. As you can see first of all, I'm going to zoom in a little bit to make it clearer for everybody. You can see the full image 2560 by 1440 is the full image in total which is the t for TV displays so they've done that up specifically so that your YouTube channel art will look interesting on their Roku's and Apple TV's and other media devices that play back in full full screen and laid out for television now you can see there's a, a number of other areas here that that it's listed here it says desktop max 2560 by 423 the height of course is 423 it's this section here and desktop max is from the full left area to the full right area so it's that long narrow strip in the middle that's the maximum that will display on your desktop browser and obviously the desktop browser width will vary depending on what browser you're using the resolution of your monitor how wide you've opened your window whether you've got a narrow window so that will vary you'll see next year it says tablet 1855 by 423 so that's saying that on a tablet the maximum area you'll see would be from this line here across to this line here. So this area here. And then here you can see desktop minimum and mobile 1545 by 423. That's this middle box here. As you can see here it says text and logo safe area. This is the key area of your whole YouTube channel art. This is the area that will display on everything. So this is the area that you've got to put the information that is crucial for all formats. So that would be your channel name, probably most importantly, and, and maybe your logo and your key information. So this is some, some things to think about when we're laying out the channel art. So what I've done is in GIMP, as we start working, this is going to get hidden behind everything. I've put guidelines in to measure out all the key areas here. So we've got our full area, which is the full page, and we've got our horizontal borders for that 423 area, which is from here to here. And then we've got some vertical boundaries here that have been put in to mark the tablet width and the desktop minimum and mobile. So that's interesting uh, too when it says desktop minimum. So don't forget that on a, on a desktop, you're going to just see anything between the full width right down to that. And of course, this middle section is all you're going to see on mobile devices, which is your cell phones, primarily in your YouTube mobile apps. Okay, well, let's get started. The first thing I'd probably do is figure out what your background's going to be, which is your full area. You want to fill that in with something. You want to pick a, um, a gradient or a, a single color 
or even a picture that will cover that whole area, remembering that whatever is in the background cannot distract from the key information that you're putting on the screen, which is your, your channel name and maybe your logo and some other key information. So what you want to put on here is something that would make an appropriate background. Now you can source your backgrounds from all sorts of places. You can go online and get uh, backgrounds. There's many tutorials out there on, on, on YouTube, of course, that will tell you how to design from a design point of view your uh, your area so what we're going to do today we're going to add because this is partially a gimp tutorial as well as a channel art tutorial i'm going to add a layer and i'm going to call it background and you can see in gimp you get the choice of making a foreground background white or transparent and i want this blue that it that is in, currently set as the background color so I'm going to select background color okay and there goes the blue now you can see straight away that our template has been covered over now if any time we want to bring it up and compare we can just grab it from the side and just drag it up on top just to see where everything is we can sort of move it up the various layers and back down we're going to move that to the back I do have my guidelines in so I've got my key area so this is the area that our crucial information is going to be in now we can put stuff out here but remembering that stuff in this whole this top third and bottom third is only going to be seen on tv devices it can just be good looking stuff but not stuff that is crucial or informational the key thing about any channel is the channel name so i want to put my channel name on here so we're going to use the text tool for that i'm just going to drag that out There's our first element. We'll come back and, and tweak some text later. Now I centered that and because I've aligned it with the guidelines, that's pretty much going to be spot on center. Okay, so I also want to add some artwork there. Here we go. Now I can line that up into the corner there. Now obviously that's huge, way too big. So let's scale that down. So let's go layer, let's scale that down. That's probably a better size. So we can put that there. And then what we can do is if we move that back one. But I think the channel head the channel name needs to be front center at the top. And then you can put the sub information at the bottom. If you put the sub information at the top, sometimes it can look a bit weird. But also we can deal with size of text to improve what's the primary thing we see and then what's the secondary thing we see. Uh, different use of color um, we're going to put some effects on some of these other things later I'm just going to place some place some layers and and, and uh, items over onto the uh, the channel art so we can get going from there I also want to add some more layers so we're gonna, I'm just going to go through and grab some more um, relevant pictures that I want to use and I'll be right back As you can see from that time lapse, we uh, pulled in just a few different images. Now I've just randomly placed some on, on the uh, page at this stage. Now we're going to do some more things with this text to make it pop. We're going to put some information down here, move things around. We may get rid of some of these pictures. I've just put some of the items I thought I might use. I've sort of reduced this iPhone picture. I'll just put this inside. This is something interesting that could pop out on a, a TV, on the TV screen when we go to the full screen but even when we look at the middle cropping here it just looks like it's a little bit of a phone sort of gives you that tech idea we're going to throw some more tech pictures probably in this area as well we don't want to over clutter it but sometimes having something just sort of poking in from the corner that you get revealed when you go to the full screen like on the television or something else so it's sort of starting to communicate what the channel's about so i'm going to leave that there because i like that for now we need to so we'll do some more things to the channel name to make that pop but we're going to put some information here like our um, value proposition or our um, motto or whatever it is of the channel that communicates so just a few words that say what the channel's about
As you can see, there's um, we're starting to get a bit of a layout there. So we've got the title, we've got our value proposition or, or motto or something that sort of helps us describe what the channel's about without too many words. So at the moment, what people are seeing is this. Let's do a zoom in. So that there is what's going to get us your minimum safe space. That's what everybody's going to see all the time, which is our mobile devices and minimum desktop. So every all your crucial information needs to be on this section here. But you can see that's the main idea. So let's just zoom back out and get an idea of the next level, which is just to here and here and again, that was for um, tablets. So it just gives you a little bit of extra padding there and there, which is fine with what we've got there. You get a little bit more of the phone on this side and just, just some more space on that side. So it sort of centers it off a bit, which is great. And of course, finally, that's your maximum. That's probably what you'll see on most browsers, something in that vicinity. Uh, on desktop computers so you can see you could probably put something in there and there but mindful that it's not going to display on mobile devices so nothing informational nothing that's identifying never have your channel name across that side or that side it'll cut off obviously where the where these lines are here there and there tablets are going to cut off there and there and that's your desktop scenario your full thing there is what we see on the TV based uh, um, YouTube apps. Now you don't need to put any of your social medias on here or anything else because remember you can do all your social medias in the little little tap boxes that end up in this uh, corner here. You want to make the banner communicate who you are, what you're about and look as professional as possible. Now remember there's a lot of easier apps you can use. You can do you can do this channel art using other things like Canva online. Now, if you have any questions regarding channel art, feel free to put your comments in the description. Put your questions down there, and uh, I'll come through and answer them the best I can. I hope this video provided some much-needed clarity regarding YouTube channel art. You can see the results displayed on the various devices here on the screen as we close. If this video was helpful, give it a thumbs up. And if you want more tips and how-tos, be sure to subscribe. This is Doug Hughes on YouTube, and I'm out.